Hi, I'm Roope Latvala, uh, and you guys are watching uh, Chaos Sign TV right now. Okay, so hello everyone. Chaos Sign is today here at On The Rocks Bar in Helsinki, Finland, and we had the pleasure to talk to Roope Latvala. So first of all, hello Roope, how is it going for you at the moment? Uh, thank you very much for inviting me. And, uh, uh, going pretty well. Been a hot summer. Uh, my Sunday morning, you know. <laughs> yeah, oh, those those mornings are always, it's, it's quite early, so I'm, I'm, I'm almost tired myself. So, uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a little... Uh, after afternoon so. <laughs> yeah yeah oh, well. so obviously this last year has been quite interesting because of the coronavirus so how has it been to you personally well nothing new <laughs> okay <laughs> no, not much you know i'll be pretty much like a home or a homey like doing stuff at home and fixing cars and garden and house and stuff like that and go to the local bar with local dooders and dooderesses. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And stuff like that, you know, just basics. Uh, well, of course, there was this Alus passing and all the guys, you know, there's been a Reaper has talked a little bit around. Yeah. Obviously, it's stuff it's happening. It's been quite sad overall this year because we lost quite a lot of musicians like mm -hmm. Joey Jordison passed away, Dusty Hill passed away, and yeah, obviously Alexi Laiho passed away in January, which is yeah. which was like a close band oh, member well, that's to you. The last nail, you know. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah. So obviously, I want to ask you a bit about that time because how did you first heard about his passing? Was it some friend well, who sent you a text or? No, one one friend just. Uh, called me. I was just, you know, fixing our front yard over there, and then the uh, phone rang, and I answered, and then a friend of mine said, now the midget has died. Like, ah, who? What the fuck? Yeah. The, oh, what the fuck? The, okay. Closed the phone, and then kept on sweeping there, and then, uh, uh, something I was just completely numb, you know. I don't know. Hit me like a like nine volts at first. <laughs> but then, yeah, but I guess it 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 hurt like nine volts pretty much all in in the Finnish metal scene because yeah yeah he was first I quite didn't, well known here. Uh, yeah, I, I had didn't, a lot of friends. I really didn't like first realize that that really happened. So yeah, uh, blue blows. You know, that age. Yeah. Come on, man. So, you left the band in 2015. Left and left. Well, got kicked well, out. That, that's, 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 yeah. You was you, betrayed you, and fucking planned out, fucking kicked out. Yeah. But what happened, like, after that? Were you in contact with any of the guys? No, never spoke a goddamn word. With any uh, of them? Yeah. And if I tried to, you know, they, um, uh, totally shut me down, and um, uh, that you can talk to a, our lawyer. Ah, uh, okay. So okay. That's about so that. So those guys were to me, they were already dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So was it was it sort of like sad thing what happened that you weren't sort of able to fix your relationship before he passed away? Or no, well, yeah, I, I think we. Yeah, there was some stuff to settle, you know. I still remember, I want to remember, and I still have dreams about those uh, times when he used to be a, the one best buddy of mine. Yeah, 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 of course, of course. And obviously you were in, in the band for 12 years, so... 20. 20 years? Uh, Consider Synergy 2. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 with, with him, that. yeah, yeah, in yeah, different and bands. And then I was yeah. like a roadie for them for a while, and then when Alexander left, and I went for, you know, let's see, re uh, replacement guy. Yeah, yeah. So uh, that was the first uh, American tour that we did uh, just during the Death Crew Hydro tour. And, uh, uh, 
yeah, there was also hypocrisy was there, better dead granite yeah, yeah. and those guys. I guess and that was then, a party uh, yeah, tour yeah. with better on. <laughs> yeah, and the, the drama served there and all those guys. Was, uh, and of course, uh, well, it was Dim Borger was the headliner. Okay, okay. Uh, it was during the uh, Death Cult Armageddon. Okay, that's uh, a classic kick album. Kiss, kiss Ass album. Yeah, yeah, Kick really Ass. Cool. Yeah, yeah, very good stuff. So, I want to ask you a bit what happened to you after 2015. And and how did you find a, find out that you are not in the band anymore? And and in what phase that happened? Were you completely written the album and then they said that now yeah, you yeah. don't ne- need me anymore, or or uh, uh, how did that go? No, well, <laughs> I was already like pretty much ready to go and start recording. Yeah. So I knew every fucking thing in that thing. Uh, except you know they kind of shut me out before you know they didn't let me in the fucking rehearsals. Ah, so okay. what, what Alex was talking there, I was never there. And that's bullshit. Okay. They didn't let me. <laughs> okay. Because I had a couple of days that I didn't. Maybe I was sick or hangover or whatever, you know. But fuck it, man. I still trained every day. But now, now since the passing of Alexi, do you feel that one of the reasons why they sort of shut you out from the band was that around that time you were drinking and it was sort of hard for them to keep Alexi on track? Yeah, well, no, you know, all drinkers when they uh, play sober, then they start like a, this fucking hypocrisy, you know, like moral Jesus stuff. Yeah, that's quite normal in in, yeah, in the music so, scene. In that thing. And then uh, when those Americans came to uh, show the round and started taking over, Alex started, you know, to... Uh, With Americans, fo- you mean the management side? Yeah, fucking dudes that didn't know anything but shit, you know. Then, uh, yeah, we had like a German management, uh, which has been since the start. Okay. So we had a very good relationship and our crew and everything we were working like a clockwork, you know, like really, really sharp. And, uh, let's see, yeah, first he fired a couple of crew guys, his closest friends again. And then our long-term relationship with Continental Concerts, it's a German firm, and you know, they would give us an advantage so we could even start the tour and stuff. And they were really cool, and so he had to fight them because he started fancying those Americans. Ah, uh, okay, yeah, yeah, okay. Everything that's American, that's cool, okay. everything else, yeah, bullshit. but the, yeah. I can sort of relate to that because there was a phase when the band turned a bit more American, no, in a well, way, musically. Yeah, no. I don't know. Yeah. I, what's American and what's not? Fuck me. Uh, those guys are from Espo. <laughs> <laughs> we, anyway. just, we just play metal music and we're from Espo. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> so, speaking about what what happened to you after that 2015? No, well, how how uh, big uh, of a like blow it was no, for you? Uh, I, ge- I guess a massive blow. No, well, if you destroy another guy's life, it's a little, little smashing. Yeah. Say. yeah, yeah. So fuck it, man. I'm mostly drunk next year. Ah, okay, yeah, yeah. So it was like super yeah, heavy times. Yeah, yeah, And then I was trying to save our hometown, Carnell Maggie, the old shopping mall center, you know beautiful place up on the hill and a lot of beautiful nature no fuck way so, oh, yeah, so that even blown fuck okay first they well, I kicked my ass but then they kicked the whole then nature calls the whole fucking city <laughs> destroys your neighborhood too <laughs> so yeah, fuck okay, me so, yeah, man quite a lot I of got happening. pretty depressed there man not much creative like uh, uh, what the hell I was so 
fucking depressed and uh, mad and you know angry and what like what the fuck i didn't feel like playing or doing nothing and uh, then i got all the bureaucracy and uh, stuff you know get the pension notes whatever you know the to a carry things, yeah, yeah, so those, yeah, yeah. those stuff, and that blew, that even took an ear and it didn't make any results. Because okay. uh, musicians, uh, that's not a real job. Yeah, I know, and, I know how it goes. And the income uh, isn't real money. Yeah, 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 so I know, it's quite sad, it, that. It's quite sad that it's, it's, it's think that so way. So everything fucking blew like fuck. But you said in an interview uh, that you did with Ule, I think it was 2007. <laughs> yeah, that those you... guys had to close down their um, their you know chat site. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, <laughs> and, 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 cool. and, and I you, was pretty happy. And and they, and they said to you, or, or you said yeah. to them that that you had started actually like writing some music. No, well, I got a lot of a lot of stuff on my mind. Yeah. Okay. Sure. So have you kept continuing like writing music during this whole time, or was there like a phase where you didn't even want to pick the guitar because everything no, well, has happened? I'm still kind of stuck. You know, okay. I'm kind of afraid to start playing. But okay. I know why? I'm why? Because you have such an amazing career behind you. Yeah. You know. Uh, Oh, you, <laughs> you you don't know because I don't even know. Okay. <laughs> That's okay. some kind of goddamn bloggage, you know. But yeah, well, I'm gonna go back to the bunker and start, you know, like this autumn is good time, you know, like okay, screw the bottles away and you know, pick up a goddamn. Oh, 20 guitars down there. Okay, so you, <laughs> st you still own every guitar that were yeah, part of like, yeah, the albums that you have been on. Yeah, yeah, so you have everything yeah, with you. I still do. Except those guys fucking ripped my, even my fucking uh, tour fucking rig. You know, which is bands and which is yours. I'm still part of the company, man. Those guys then wanted to, you know, stab more in the back, like, okay, let's break his stuff. Okay, okay. Are you now in good terms with them? No, we still haven't spoken a word. Ah, oh, okay. That's 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 quite sad because you have such a long like history with the guys. Yeah, so. I don't know. Those guys are fuck, fucking asshole. <laughs> <laughs> so obviously the story of bottom came to an end in 2019 well, at, at ISO, uh, and, and you were at that show. Yes, I was. So uh, what kind of experience it was to see the band play the last show, which you were part of obviously for a long time? Well, yeah, I knew every song, every chord, every, yeah. every fucking thing in, in my muscle memory. And yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I was looking at those guys and they looked like pretty war now like fuck let's get this stupid thing done with you know the, yeah the, you could you could it, actually what, you could actually it? sense it a bit from the show that no, there were probably some inner tensions happening that that, no, that well, affected yeah, was, the chemistry i think Alo had lost his mind <laughs> so finally like um, i i think they did a russian tour just while before uh, uh, and something happened there that pissed everybody off and then then they call it quits so how emotional it was to see still the band play for the last time was it was it like a roller coaster no, I, for you I, I, okay i went to check maybe three songs but then i went to the <laughs> of course beer stand okay yeah and then you know that was like a, a shitload of foreign old friends yeah stuff. and I guess so, a lot so, of fans so that, that, that it, uh, turned up <laughs> to be pretty uh, pretty um, duff land yeah, yeah. Good, good night with a lot of like yeah, old friends yeah, catching that's up right. yeah I was with a couple of buddies of mine well they had to take me to taxi <laughs> you know, I got very drunk <laughs> <laughs> so so speaking, as, as you said, you have been writing music, and now quite a lot of old thrash bands, like for example, Ark, they Prestige, have, they have played like shows recently. 
and and True. you are still a member of Stone. So what's actually the yeah. situation with that band? And would that be sort of like the breaker for you, as you said, that you don't want to pick up a guitar? Would that be a band that sort of would force you to grab the guitar again? No, sure. Yeah, well, yeah, I think with those guys, Stone guys, um, there's, we're still, we got a good relation, you know, but it's no harm feelings, and but, uh, we're still friends. Yeah. Okay, life goes on, everything does their own stuff, and then, but, yeah, sure, like, uh, still, uh, I think Becca plays drums still, and he's a good drummer, so Jan is also playing condition. Yeah. I don't know about Yiri. I don't know about and um, it depends on <laughs> what mood he is and then uh, and um nearly I don't know. But but fuck yeah. I'm, you I'm, would still I'm, be up for playing if they no, I mean if the other guys are sure. Yeah, yeah, okay. But you haven't had but like any serious discussions because I, no, I, I have heard that Finnish festivals ask you pretty much every summer to play shows. Yeah, I know well, we have this goddamn Kortu thing going on, but that's no excuse. But yeah, but, but yeah, well, I'm open for it. Yeah, yeah, if it happens. Have you had like any other thoughts about the music career? Do you have like any plans in your mind? Will you just keep on like writing songs on your own, or or do you have like some band friends now that you are playing with, or or? I got pretty disappointed about band friends. Okay, yeah. That's one one of the reasons. But yeah, I got a lot of stuff saying the draw. Yeah. But you don't have like any any specific plans at the moment for no, you well, to put it out in some form or in some band or. Well, I wish to make a vinyl record. Okay, would it be like more like a solo album from you? I don't know. Or have you even paid a, like thought to that? I've thought about this name called Rotator. Rot okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> or yeah. Yeah, sure. And then I'll be. Uh, I've been asked for many things, but I kind of can go for it. Would you still like to be involved more in the music? Sure thing. Okay. Yeah. Hey, hair of the dog, man. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Know, well, what else can I do, man? I'm 51 years old right now, and then, uh, and I don't have any kind of uh, other. Profession or job? Yeah, right. Profession. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I've been a guitar monkey all my life, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can do all the technical stuff too, but I'm fixing stuff, and uh, all that kind of stuff. But uh, I'm not really sure that I'm into a roadie thing right now. <laughs> <laughs> so, how, in the end, before we wrap things up. What does the future hold for you? Do you have like any concrete plans? Yeah. What's, what's up next? No, well, yeah. Back to the camp. In my case, bunker and train. And then it's a triumph, a jubilee, and victory. From yeah, there on, <laughs> we get happy and rich and everything. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> well, so, let's uh, stay healthy and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, hey, Robert, thanks. Uh, a lot it's been a for, for for me and for a lot of fans watching this afterwards because yeah, when we did when uh, we did the interview with Alexander, there were at least 150 comments from your fans who wanted to know what you are doing so it's a huge, huge honor for us that you were glad enough to do this so thanks a lot i'm i'm, I'm very pleased that i came and uh, for all you guys i miss you very much i, I really enjoy traveling and uh, seeing different places and uh, meeting people and a lot of friends that i miss all around the world 
and I hope to see you sometime and everything from Let, my heart. Let's let's wrap this in good terms because you were traveling the world for I don't know, 15 no, years or something? No. 15, 15 plus years. No, I've been doing that all my life. Yeah, so what are actually like your Five. like favorite memories when it comes to touring abroad? Is there no, like some pinpoints no, that you could point out as as last thing for this I, interview? Man, it's a bigger ball, man. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a couple of places where, where I don't want to go. Okay, but is there like some specific show that is, from, for example, from the bottom years that has kept in your mind that this was no, an amazing show to play? No, well, Japan's always been cool. All those cities there, Nagoya, and even Hiroshima. Yeah. And, you know, Shibuya's always been cool and all that. So you enjoyed the, playing Japan a lot? Osaka it was really cool town too. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And uh, Mexico's been always a crazy country. Yeah, they are known to be quite, quite crazy. Uh, uh, well, hey, hard to say. Yeah, I've yeah. Been, I'm, I'm been around many places. Yeah, so yeah, I know. I know. Uh, how, I know. How, 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 well, it depends on the evening and all. Yeah, and you've met. Yeah. Yeah. So too many, that, too many shows. Yeah, I guess it's so hard it's to like point one. It's like a little scratch, you know, when you play one evening somewhere. And yeah, maybe yeah, I know. I know. I used to go biking, you know. I had a little foldable bike every time, like especially, well, when we are uh, not on the flying thing, you know. Yes, yeah, summer festivals. But, but, yeah, and. and or East, but uh, European tours and uh, American tours I always had a bike. Okay. So I planned out, like, checked out what, what's cool to see in the city, and then, you know, loaded the local map because it was a free GPS, you know, navigator thing. So, and so take out your bike and go down, hit the town. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're using uh, pretty have much. One, more, one beer at, at the end of the half half point beer and then ride back in. Uh, yeah, yeah. Back to the venue and check out the town. So, uh, hey. So cool. Thank you a lot for your time. Anything you want to say uh, to the fans? <sighs> Keep on rocking. <laughs> Thank you.